What's going on guys, welcome to another video. In today's video I wanted to talk about the CTrader trading platform. I believe everyone is now aware that you can no longer download the MetaTrader app off the App Store. If you want to know more about why it was removed, check out my previous video. MT4 being removed from the App Store will mean that iPad and iPhone users will require an alternative platform to trade on. So in today's video I'll be walking you guys through what I think is a great alternative. So let's get into it. So when you first open the app, the first thing you see on your left is the default watch list, which is provided to us by CTrader. Here we can see all the most popular traded pairs. Here you can also add your own list with the assets of your choice. CTrader offers you a range of assets ranging from metals to cryptocurrencies. Then we have indicators. In order to add indicators to your chart, you simply tap the indicator icon at the bottom of your screen. Once you tap the indicator icon, you will see a search bar appear on the left side of your screen, allowing you to add an indicator of your choice. Or you can simply choose from the various drop down lists such as trend oscillators and more. You also have the timeframes at the bottom of your screen. Here you can select the timeframes of your choice. You can also favourite the timeframes you know you most frequently use. This way you can access them more easily on a daily basis. I personally like the way TradingView allows you to cycle through different timeframes just by swiping on the timeframe at the bottom of the screen. That feature definitely needs to be introduced to other trading platforms. What I like about CTrader which MT4 lacks is the ability to analyse charts effectively. I know you can analyse charts on MT4 but it just isn't very enjoyable or effective to use. As a result of this most of us choose to analyse charts on TradingView instead. However, with CTrader you can do all your analysis on the same platform. CTrader offers you all the basic yet essential tools to analyse your charts. I think we can agree that we only use a set number of tools for our analysis such as trend lines and Fibonacci's. CTrader's chart also looks a lot cleaner and more minimalistic which essentially makes it easier for us to identify any patterns and clear entry points. So just to demonstrate how easy and effective it is to analyse charts on CTrader, I'll quickly analyse this chart.
so when it comes to placing an order, you simply find the asset you want to trade on the left hand side and click on buy or sell. Then you will be able to create your order. Firstly you can select your order type, so we can enter our market price, set a limit, stop and a stop limit. Next you can choose your lot size. As you can see it gives us a few options, however we can also manually input the lot size of our choice. Then you can toggle on both your take profit and stop loss. Again you can choose to use the plus and minus buttons to select your stop loss and TP figures or you can simply tap on the figure and type in the specified number. However if these two options aren't enough you can also drag your stop loss and TP on the chart up and down until it's at a point that you're happy with. I think this is a great feature as it allows traders to visually see how far away their stop loss and TP is from their entry points. This essentially helps them see how much they are risking and potentially aiming to make. Ctrader also tells you how much you'd lose if your stop loss was hit and how much you'd make if your TP was hit. This can save traders a lot of time and help them effectively manage their risk. It's especially helpful for new traders who may not necessarily know how to calculate pip values. Once you've selected your lot size and are happy with your assigned take profit and stop loss, you can place your trade. Once your trade is running, you have the option of modifying your trade. But unlike MT4 which only allows you to adjust your stop loss and take profit, you can double or reverse your current position on Ctrader. The double button will activate a new trade at current market price. So say you hit your first TP target and a confident price will keep heading in your direction you can easily stack your trades without wasting too much time. Alternatively, you can use the reverse button which will close your current position and automatically open one in the opposite direction. This could be useful if you thought price is going to reverse and therefore you no longer want it to be in your current trading position. For example, say you was currently in a long trade, but you could clearly see price is not going up but instead down. You could quickly close out of your current long position and enter a short without wasting any time. So in conclusion I believe that Ctrader is a great trading platform and should probably be used by more traders. The first platform most new traders are introduced to is MT4, hence why they decide to only use MetaTrader. However if these traders were to change over to Ctrader and spend some time on the platform they would quickly see how many features are missing from MT4. Now that Apple has banned MT4 from their app store, new traders using iPhone would have no choice but to learn on an alternative platform. So whether you are a beginner or experienced trader, you should definitely try out Ctrader. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. As always, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.